Hey guys, me Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing you this origami thing here. It's like a little square shaped thing. It's got white on one side, orange on the other. And just like magic, now it has like a checkerboard design. Just like that. It flips back. I call it a magic flippy thing. I actually invented this by accident when I was playing around with ISO area folds. You know, just experimenting. So I will be showing you how to fold this. This is from a six inch square. Now this is an 8 inch square, we use the 8 inch square, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold in half horizontally and vertically um, both ways, so we're going to fold in half colored side up don't have to crease really sharply in the middle, just more so on the corners unfold and flip over and fold in half the other way now we're going to do um, we're going to fold Two corner, we're going to do like a blint space. We're going to fold two up, two opposite corners, diagonally opposite each other, to the center. Like that. Now we're going to flip this over. This is ISO area. means we're doing the same on both sides. Now we're going to fold these corners to the center. It's a little hard to see the middle line, but I guess I should have used solid paper. But I want to use slightly larger paper just for so you can see easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this corner to this center here, crease, rotate 180 degrees, fold this corner to the center. So it looks like this. Now flip over, bring this corner to the middle, turn around and fold this to the middle. Now this is a really fun step. You're going to take, you can see this colored flap here, you're going to grab this and pull it out like that. And you're going to take this other pink flap here, the corner, and pull it out flat. And like this. Now we'll flip it over. This is ISO area. Now we're going to take this white flap, pull it out like that, and this one down here, and just pull it out. And now you have a pinwheel. Now what we're going to do is you see we have, this is the same on both sides, but you have these creases, or these these flaps and we have these solid squares. You want to take the one with the, the line here, the flap, and fold this corner to the middle. Make sure it's not on the solid one. Now we're, and the solid one will be on this side. So flip it, or turn it around and fold this in. Make sure that's on top and fold that right to the middle. Now flip over and again, bring this point here. You can see there's the line there. This is ISO area, so we're doing this on both sides. And now you have a small pinwheel. And now comes another really fun move. If you see here, there's a raw, um, raw edge here, this triangle, colored triangle, where my thumb is. You're going to pull out on the triangle, and this layer will come out. This will pivot here and flatten it out like that. Rotate. Again, you're going to pull on this, and it unfolds. There's a triangle here. Really cool move. Now we're going to, because it's ISO area, we're going to flip it over, and this time we're going to be going to the right. Here's our the triangle here. Pull on it. Opens the same way, just the opposite direction. And here, just pull this extra paper out. This will open up, and it'll lay flat. Now you have this square shape, and now we are going to uh, tuck pieces in to each other. So what we're going to do is this flap here, we're going to open up here, and you can see the crease here. This is going to get inserted like that, inside reverse fold, and then you're going to rabbit ear this back down. And then we're going to do this white side here, unfold here, and just push that inside on the existing creases. Flip it over, and now we're going to take these flaps, these colored flaps, and move them to this side because then how we can open it up. Open up, take, there's a crease here, take this and just push it in on the existing creases. If you fold this correctly, there's an existing crease there. Rotate, open this up, and tuck inside, push inside. And you can see, we have here 
is we want to make sure now we have now another important step. You don't want the flaps like this. You want them like this. So you have this crease here, and these like this. So we have a pinwheel that's going. This case is going this way. You can see these flaps. So now we're going to take this flap here, fold it over, and tuck it inside this pocket. Rotate it over to the other colored flap. Fold over and tuck it inside. And these ones here, there's the pocket, we're just going to flip it over or fold it over and then tuck it in. And the last one, fold it over, tuck it inside. Now we're almost done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the these areas with the, not these ones, these ones, we're going to fold these up and crease it. Unfold, rotate, this is to make some creases that we need for the action of the model. And then flip over and crease here, and crease here. Now our magic flippy thing is pretty much finished. Now comes how to how do you use such a thing? You're gonna have to break this in. We're gonna make a crease on this point here, and this point here, and now we're gonna lift up this flap and make a crease right along that edge. Sharp crease and along this edge. And now to operate this device, this is the first state position it's in. I'll use the white side since it's a bit easier to see that it's going on. Is you're going to take this part here and just kind of pull it apart and go in this direction. And you can see those creases underneath. See? Like that. And then it'll lay flat in the other direction. And this is, and you can see now when it's in this position, you want to crease these areas here really well on both sides, the creases underneath, make it nice and flat. And then this is the finished model. And then to push it back, you're just going to kind of hold it so that it's holding these two corners and just start pushing and everything will kind of flip back and forth. So you see we have like that and you flip it and now it's like this on both sides it's both colors and then you flip it back and if you use, once you use this enough times it'll come a lot easier to flip the magic flippy thing back and forth so that's the magic flippy thing i hope you're able to make it um, please rate comment and subscribe and i will see you next time